for me uh, so many different things about about my competitive you know career at world 's strongest man and, and uh, you know the the reach and, and the message and how it 's got out to people and and truly for me that that 's what this is all about i mean you can you know i 've said before you can have you know all the championships, all the trophies all the um, you know, awards, titles, whatever. But if you are not making an impact with people, inspiring them, connecting with them, is it all really worth it? Probably not. So I feel like those, those two meet and greets that I did after World's Strongest Man had a, a big impact on me and were very, very meaningful uh, to me at that moment. So you put the, the competition aside, you focus on that, uh, and get that done, and, and um, you know that left me feeling a lot better about things overall, uh, if I'm being honest. And, and um, you know, as frustrated as I was with World's Strongest Man, my performance, and um, you know, the competitive side of me is is never going to let that go. It just it just won't, and that's how I've always been. And, and um, you know, I uh, um, will say it's it's just tough. It's tough to end my world's strongest man, um, you know, competitive career at world's strongest man with that performance. But again, you know, it's, it's something that was special in so many different ways. And, you know, I had, uh, my wife, my boys, you know, so many people that I knew that came out and that made it more meaningful, uh, as well. So anyway, I think we're going to end the wrap up there. I am now moving on my next and final competition will be the Shaw classic here in Colorado in August already hitting the ground running, already planning, um, and that event will be incredible, to say the least. So I'm excited about it. I hope you guys are excited as well. I hope you're all doing amazing for now. Go out and be great, and we'll check you guys later.